All right, so I'm back. Uh, we are in the downstairs apartment. Since I last posted a video, what we've done is we've actually cleaned out a lot of the garbage that, we, that was in here. We, trust me, we've cleaned this up uh, in here as well. All of the, the stuff that was on the walls here, because honestly, I just want to be able to move around in here, right? Not keep shuffling stuff back and forth. Now, unfortunately, as we got to the tail end of the last apartment, I ended up ultimately just, just piece by piece pulling all the stuff down to, into this apartment. Uh, so what I want to be focused on today is getting this mess cleaned up. And I actually have, believe it or not, right? It probably doesn't look like it right now. Uh, I have what I think is a, a pretty great organizational system uh, for my tools and all the stuff that goes along with the renovations that I want to share with you. Uh, so my wife put it together for me, uh, give her credit, it's, it was all her, um, but I've been using it for, I don't know, probably six or seven years, and honestly, it works great. And the best part, it's super cheap. It's super cheap. So uh, I want to share that with you today, and then I'm just going to go through the process of, of getting everything cleaned up and put in a place that, um, you know, hopefully I won't be stepping over it or having to move it every 10 minutes. Thanks for joining me, and we're going to get going. Okay, so I want to introduce you to an amazing, revolutionary, groundbreaking organizational system. And I'm not going to take credit for this. This is actually my wife uh, who put this together for me. Really appreciative to her for that. Uh, so, uh, again, groundbreaking, right? So my system is bins. Yeah, it's bins. Uh, anyway, uh, so there's something special about these bins. Actually, there's a few few different things. Um, so first off, these are, are hefty bins. Uh, I think you can get these at Target or Walmart or, or whatever. And at the time, I think they were like seven bucks a piece. Okay, so real inexpensive. Um, the nice thing about these bins though, is that they have uh, these tops here, right? So these tops ex extend uh, beyond the bottom of the, uh, the top of the container so that uh, you're able to overfill them. And uh, one of the things, actually, I've got a, uh, a another type here. One of these with the, the flat tops, right? They're always, you know, hard to put on. The handles are never all that great. Uh, and it, it just, they just don't work quite right. Something like this, um, I'm able to put a lot in. And, and generally, as a DIYer, right, I'm not a professional. I'm not keeping a lot of stock on hand. I'm able to put what I need inside of just the, just the one bin. And then uh, I overfill it, right? Use the handles to clasp it like that. Uh, and one of the great things about these is that these are solid, right? I probably have, I would say at least 25, 30 pounds worth of stuff in here, all told. And uh, this is how I carry them a majority of the time, just like that. Uh, and usually when I'm not in, you know, full on renovation mode, uh, I am you know, bringing one or two bins uh, to a site where I'm, I'm doing some work, right? Uh, so it's perfect, right? I can stack them up too, but I like carrying them like that. Um, so the other thing, this is the label, right? And this is stupid, right? Labeling your bins. Um, reality is I didn't label my bins for the longest time. So I was constantly having to open up each one to see where anything was. And, and to be fair, I think I had larger bins and they were opaque. So I couldn't see through the sides either. But uh, I think I got my wife a label maker for Christmas one year and she just, she labeled all these for me. She loved it and I loved it. That, that, yeah, that was a Christmas. I got a label maker for a Christmas present, but she loved it. It was it's the kind of thing she would like. But she went, she labeled all of these for me. Uh, so now when I'm going and looking to put a tool back or I'm looking to find a tool, it's much more quick. And honestly, the more quickly I can find the bin the tool goes in, the more likely I am to put the tool away in the right place. So uh, again, right, this is almost stupid, right? I'm talking about these bins, but the thing is, like, they're cheap, they're effective, and it makes me better, right? It makes my experience better. It makes me go faster. It's easier for me to find stuff. So I love these. I hope I hope this helps someone. I realize how dumb it is to say, "Hey, look at my bins!" But but you know what? It really it really is effective for me. We got some shelving at home too. So once I pull everything out of here, everything just stacks up nicely on the shelving, uh, awaiting the next next apartment. I guess uh, if if there is another one after this, that's that's uh, TBD. Not my decision. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's start getting all of this stuff, right? All of the stuff that's all over this room back into some bins.
All right, so these are my bins. Uh, I have, uh, it looks like five bins. I'm not sure if I'm missing one right now, to be honest with you. Uh, but over here I've got finishing. Uh, this is more for uh, sandpaper, things like that, that I might need as I go through through projects. I probably don't need a whole bin for that, but it's there, whatever. <laughs> um, then I have all the all the fasteners uh, that I use or that I've accumulated over the years. Uh, you know, sometimes you, you go through and you, you don't use all your exterior grade Simpson strong tie heavy duty connector screws uh, throw them in here and you know actually when I was doing the front porch uh, I, I ended up using some of these so uh, those sorts of things that you know I rarely ever use up all of but are very handy to have because it prevents me from having to take a trip to the store um, I got my electrical stuff and uh, for the most part I got some disposable stuff in here like Wagos sometimes there's cover plates although I don't like to store a lot of those so really, this is the, these are the tools that I need to do any of the sorts of electrical stuff that I do. Uh, it's not a ton. Uh, usually I hire electri an electrician, uh, but it's nice to have the tools. I have a tester in here some, somewhere in here too uh, that would go in there and, you know, my, my nippers and, and lineman pliers, things like that. Uh, and my plumbing stuff, I use this one a lot. So I've recently converted over to PEX. I still keep these around because uh, it is very convenient to be able to uh, convert uh, from copper to PEX, uh, so I use the, the saw tools for that. Uh, sometimes it's handy to be able to uh, remove something versus cutting it, depending on you know what your angles are. So it's very handy to have. And then here, this is my more miscellaneous type, uh, rarely used tools, uh, but you know always good to have when I need them. Uh, for example, here I've got my uh, floor jack, which is used to pull hardwood flooring uh, when you're nailing it in. I've got some long long spade bits. Um, I've got a tuck pointing trowel, just various things that I've accumulated over the years that I infrequently use, but when I do need them, it's always wonderful to have. Hole saws, things like that. And then my last, uh, not quite a bin, but this is my, in general, this is my purpose-built loadout for whatever it is that I need to do. Uh, so usually I'll end up bringing one of these bins, uh, depending on what it is I'm doing. Uh, but this ends up being a uh, storage solution for uh, whatever it is I'm going to be doing for that day that contains more miscellaneous tools. Um, I'll always have like a speed square in here. I'll always have a chisel of various sizes, a, a multi-driver screwdriver, something like that. Um, but for the most part, this ends up being a miscellaneous purpose uh, put together uh, storage solution. Beyond that, I've got these bins here. Uh, so this is a new addition. This is all the cleaning stuff. Uh, we clean a lot of apartments. Oh, there's my tester. Fantastic. Let's put that right back in the bin. Oh, yeah, so this is my uh, my paint bin. Um, this is a bit of a mess right now, uh, but you know we'll get that cleaned up. Uh, for the most part though, everything that I have that applies to whatever it is I'm trying to do fits in one of these one of these bins. Um, there's some stuff that doesn't, right? So I'll have a pole or I'll have, uh, for example, like an 18 inch uh, tray for the paint, things like that. Uh, those get stored on top or I, I don't know, it doesn't matter. Um, so not everything fits, uh, but for the most part, all the things that go together do fit in the bins that, that I've selected to store them in. So it works out really great for me. Um, other things I have, uh, so for example here, uh, this is just a bag, miscellaneous bag that came with the DeWalt tool set that I have. For the most part, everything fits in there. Not everything, but it's good enough. Uh, so I have that. Usually I put all my tools in there. Uh, and I think, that's about it. I've got some boxes that I've used for moving stuff around or additional storage, uh, but for the most part, these are not things that are always there or always present uh, because I just don't have a need for them because uh, my bins, my bins, they, they do it for me. Um, so I'm going to get things organized within the bins uh, so that when we, when we start out, we're nice and fresh. We know where everything is because that's really always very helpful. Uh, and then we're going to start uh, picking this place up. So you saw me take everything out of these other bins. 
Uh, but honestly, like this is the bin where, like this is miscellaneous. This is as organized as it gets, if I'm being honest. And uh, whenever I need something, I just know that all my odds and ends and weird things are in this bin. So this is the bin that I go to. Um, I'm not gonna bother organizing it. I'm not gonna bother cleaning it because everything in there is pretty dirty. Um, and that's just life. So I'm gonna leave this as is. Uh, I am gonna shift things around a little bit so that I can, I can close the darn thing. Uh, but for the most part, yeah, I'm not gonna do a whole lot with this. All right, so my, my main tool bin here, more than anything else, uh, I like to keep this one as easy to access as possible, so I don't like to keep a lot in here. Um, one of the things that I unfortunately do is when I'm working on something and I only have this or, you know, I've forgotten to bring a trash bag, is I end up putting trash in here and, and whatever else, so it ends up be a, being kind of kind of messy pretty quickly. Uh, but for the most part, right, this is going to change depending on what I'm doing. So one thing I noticed as I was going through here is that I appear to be missing a bin. I'm not sure where it is or if, even if it's here or not, uh, but normally I have uh, stuff for, for flooring, like I would use this for flooring, I would use this uh, angle finder for flooring, things like that. Um, uh, the, the countersink bits as well, uh, I would throw those in the flooring bin because the only time I use these really is when I'm doing like thresholds. Um, so my plan uh, is to find that bin. I uh, see, I have no idea if it's here or if it's at my house. Uh, find that, we'll, we'll rearrange some stuff in here when we have that. Uh, but for the most part, this is all I'm putting back in here. Um, I need some plastic baggies for, for, for stuff like these little, um, little PEX uh, clamps. Uh, and I'm going to move some of this other stuff into other areas where it's more, or it makes more sense. All right, so this is most of my power tool collection. Like there's some stuff that I use all the time, right? Uh, I would say jigsaw, grinder, uh, oh, oh, impact driver. Like I, I would sleep with this thing if I could. Um, and then there's stuff that I use less frequently. Like I haven't, I haven't, this came with a kit. I haven't used this yet. I will use it. Um, especially as we're doing the countertops and the apartments, but I don't have a need for this right now. Um, likewise this, right? I don't do a lot of gut jobs, uh, so this doesn't, uh, actually this takes up space for me most of the time. Um, the other thing that I do is I buy these little kits. Um, I think these were, I got them on sale for like nine bucks. There's two of them, uh, and then I customize them. So uh, as I get additional bits, uh, probably more specialized bits, and, and when I say customize them, I, usually I lose a bunch of bits, um, so that's why I buy two. Uh, but, you know, for example, uh, these little T15 or T10 or whatever um, uh, Torx bits, um, or, or the larger ones that I, I think we used for the five inch uh, deck screws. <laughs> um, but just a general assortment of stuff. And what I like to uh, ensure is that the common stuff is common that I have it across the sets. Uh, so that's there when, when I need it. Because oftentimes, like this is, like these are the things that I carry with me all the time. I'll have one in my, um, toolbox thing uh, and then I'll keep some with the tools as well because generally if I'm using these the tools are with me so if anyone's curious uh, for this stuff impact driver uh, oscillating multi-tool always uh, this is actually just I just got this I haven't used it yet uh, but fantastic tool and actually I think I need to put a part in this uh, to attach it so I'm gonna leave this out just for now uh, grinder, right? This has got my, my diamond blade on it uh, at the moment, uh, but I swapped that out as needed. So that's always in there. Uh, jigsaw, uh, great tool. Uh, always have that. Um, and then the, um, not the impact drive, just the regular drill, I guess. <laughs> I don't use that a lot, um, but if I'm using different size bits or whatever, it comes in really handy. Uh, and then here, uh, I'm getting more and more comfortable with this. Um, normally I would walk over to a chop saw or bring stuff all around, but, um, I find that, that this is just a lot more convenient. And as I become more skilled with the skill saw, uh, I find myself reaching for it more and more. So that guy goes in there as well. The other things that are going to go in there are these, uh, jigsaw blades. And, uh, I don't usually take them out of the box, uh, but there's a little pouch here on the side, uh, that I just throw them into, uh, either loose or package. Doesn't matter to me. Uh, like I said, I'll put this one in as well. And then uh, whatever batteries we have, uh, we'll put in there too. I'm gonna get those charged up. Other things that I have that I use frequently, so this is my, uh, my trim nailer. Uh, it's an 18 gauge um, brad nailer. Uh, so I use this a ton. Uh, it's not yellow, 
that's okay, I don't care. <laughs> um, but yeah, use this a ton with the compressor, and then I just got this recently. Uh, so actually, I just bought this at this wallet, so maybe I do care a little bit, uh, but it was actually the only one they carried. So um, so I've got this. Uh, this is my stapler, which I've been using more and more as I do flooring. Uh, so I'm not gonna put these in the main bin uh, because they're not things that I reach. Well, this one is, this one has its own bag. This I don't reach for frequently, um, but all this stuff uh, will pretty much go in here, and this will become the, the, the way that I store that. And so with that out of the way, I'm, I'm basically done, right? So I've got everything, got everything in the bins, yeah, the bins over there too. And I mean, look at it. Look at how much cleaner this place is. Yeah, so I've still got some work to do. Uh, but the good news is a lot of the stuff that I have around the room is actually gonna go in the bins, a lot of the, the smaller stuff. Uh, and everything else for the most part is consumable. Uh, so I don't have a place for that. That's just gonna get moved or put in a box and moved. And then, um, you know, when we finish here, we may come out with some leftover, we may not. And, you know, the refuse just get just get thrown, thrown away. So we're gonna get started cleaning up this room. So we've reached a key point here. Uh, I've got this entire bottom floor. I need to do stuff in every room. Where do I put all the stuff? So I had to, had to think about it. I think what I'm gonna do is actually leave everything in this room, but I'm gonna get it all stacked up in a corner and organized. Um, I was thinking that I was gonna do this room, do it in this room, but honestly, uh, when I think about it, it's not super centrally located, right? It's off to the side. It's a longer walk every time I need something. And I don't have a ton of room in here, right? I've already got the chop saw set up. I've already got the table saw set up. And these are probably going to stay in here. Uh, honestly, though, this is the room where I have the least to do, right? Uh, probably may not look like it, but I've got a couple of windows to do. I've got to paint the walls. we got to do the floors. And I'm going to probably do something about that over there. But for the most part, this, yeah, I'm hopeful, but this, is, this is, should be a pretty easy room. In here, uh, I do have a little bit more work. Um, again, I, I'm going to have to do the floors, paint the walls, what have you. Uh, ceilings in here probably too uh, but for the most part I think a nice contained area in here will be will be good and we'll, we'll, we'll save the floors till the end I've never done that before that's that's my plan right now this is gonna be a lot more work um, yeah this is gonna be considerably more work so we're gonna not set up in here <laughs> um, the bathroom right now in my mind is is you know for the most part a Obviously, I wouldn't work in here anyway, but I'm thinking that's probably a, pretty much a gut. Um, and then over here, right, we got that sunroom uh, that's part of this apartment, similar to upstairs, except this one's bigger. Yeah, I have to pull up that floor, and, and there's just a ton of work to do in here. Plus, there's not a lot of room, and I don't want my tools, you know, in view of the street. And then here, oh my gosh, the kitchen. This is where I think, honestly, there's going to be the most work for me. Uh, so definitely don't want to set up in here, right? And you saw some of that as well. So... I think this room is going to make the most sense. Um, I just have to figure out what part of it is going to make the most sense. Probably that corner. Um, we'll leave the table in the middle. We'll set stuff up on, on top of it. And we will go from there. All right, so that's it for me for the day. Uh, unfortunately, the battery on my phone is about to die. And I can't find the charger. So that's going to call it. That's, that's how I know I'm done. Uh, unfortunately, I did not get as much as I would have liked to have done today. Uh, I still have to move everything over and, and, and honestly, I probably will uh, just take a few minutes to just kind of stack stuff in the right place and get everything in a corner or whatever, uh, just so I don't have to do it when I start up um, probably next week. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed this. Uh, I, I, you are, I'm guessing, just super amazed with my organizational skills uh, and, and my system. Uh, but honestly, hopefully it helps. Um, the nice thing about it is it, it works for me at least uh, and it is very inexpensive. So bins. All right. Uh, thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you next time.